How did you even end up like on the beach at three in the morning? <laughs> Is this guy straight? Yeah. And that's I, the crazy I, part. Like I've always been gay. Like I remember like when I was younger, I would be like looking at my like my mom and them doing their hairs, painting their nails, and I would be like, oh. And we can't sing. I can't wait to do that. <laughs> Amy, I know you're watching. I know you. And my mom is watching you. And she just told me my dream last night that she doesn't forgive you and she's waiting for you up there. No. Because she's going to beat you. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Like, since you're from St. Nicholas, how do you feel about the whole development happening on that side? It's like a lot of love. Hey. Personally, I'm not a fan of the hotel. I'm pro a hotel. I'm not a fan of that specific hotel. Hey, yo, what's up? Ally Chemistess. Look at you, Shark. You're moving the thing without breaking it. I'm proud of I you. I know, I know. Usually you're very scared. I'm really, you have no idea. You're like, like it's expensive. It's inexpensive. I know. Like at XFM, I just be like moving that shit. Like, <laughs> oh, it's the same shit, right? No. Look, it's moving around. What goes around goes around. No. Comes. No, I'm not going to like twirl it. <laughs> No, no sad. All right. All right, guys, they show up about anything and everything between two friends. One is straight and the other. Shut God damn body, Black and gay, baby. You're gay? I am. I'm super duper gay. Hey, since when? <laughs> uh, from fucking birth. Oh, really? Yes. When you, at what age did you realize you were gay? You know, I've always known. Honestly, mm-hmm. like, I've always is it, known. Is that a real thing? Like, no, 100%. Like, I've always People say, like, oh, you just choose to be gay. No, and you know, anybody that knows me, like, shout out to all my friends, Nicole, Sue, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. all of my, like, my people that know me, like, when I was younger, they'll be right. like, it's just we, like, we could have always seen that. Like, yeah, we yeah, always yeah, knew. Yeah, yeah. So I've always been gay. Like, I remember, like, when I was younger, I would be, like, looking at my, like, my mom and them doing their hairs and, like, painting their nails. And I would be like, oh. And we can't say. I can't wait to do that. <laughs> <laughs> they all looked at me like, no, don't say that. <laughs> they were going to beat my ass. So I was like, Oh whatever. But you know, you know, it's um, you know who else? Someone that I that I know as well. Like, like, bro, you're gay. Come on, just come out. Just yeah. come out. Like, like, you're. Come on, man. It's okay. We love you. Like, come on. It's um, DeAndre Maxwell. You know him? Right. I, of course, I know him. Yeah, he lives in Holland. Yeah. So like, he does drag now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, not drag. He does how ho- like ballroom. I don't know what the fuck it does, but like. Yeah, no. It's. I'm just. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I. I, it's still dancing because that's how we know each other. We know each other from popcorn. Popcorn, yeah. Yeah, we used to, him and I and four other guys. I think it's four. I'm not going to say what I want to say about popcorn. Go ahead. It's, no. I'm gay. Gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> You're not gay. Come on. I know they're not gay. You, you know like, Yoncha? Yoncha? The cop? Popcorn dancer. Okay, I didn't say all were gay. That's okay. But we like, already had this a conversation. Big majority, a big majority of the men, that, yes, might be. It is what it somewhere is. Somewhere on that, like. Bi or gay or straight. I'm the I'm the one straight. Ivan straight. Nastar straight. Paul straight. Okay, I'm. I never said there were no straight guys. Okay, you remember what happened a few years ago? Wait, what? <laughs> With me giving a popcorn comment. Yeah. <laughs> that is literally. I think that that could be one of <gasps> our, you know, our top five worst episodes. <laughs> that one and, and and the other one with the two girls. Ah oh, man, we almost got canceled. This show almost got canceled. Oh, that was another one. Oh, wait. Which one are you talking about? The one I just showed you a while ago with oh, the two boring-ass girls. Like, I was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did I do this? No, why did we bring those girls? We're going to brought did. someone. It was me. I did really? that. Yeah, that was my fault. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I'm, I apologize for Could've that Could have brought one. some, like, I don't know. Some I know. I prostitutes to talk about it. It would have been more interesting. That would have been way more fun. Back, back then, we could have. Back then, No Filter was ratchet as fuck. How did I mean back then? Bitch, I'm still ratchet. No, but what I, Come we on. can still bring the, you, up the spot one, and you, we will you, have no, a no, no, good no, no, ass no. fucking conversation. Listen, you went from street ratchet to classy ratchet. Um, you gotta admit that part. I don't know. It's I, like I, you're, you're, I probably you're more, matured a bit. I, I would say that. I would say I matured. More a sophisticated street bitch, you know? Because I can't twerk the way I want to twerk if I, it was up well, to me. Well, that's because your knees fucked exactly up. Exactly my point. <laughs> I had to mature. That, like, the body's not. getting older. Exactly. That's age. That's not maturity. Because people are 50 and still a child. All right? Ooh. Now you throwing shade for the not, people. Not me, though. <laughs> I grew up a little bit. That's cute. Nah, You're supposed to stay young, though. Peter Pan. 100%. But, like, no filler back then. How long have we been doing those? Okay, so we just checked yeah, this out, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been fucking four years. Almost four years. Almost four years. So, like, July, July, mid-July. July is going to be four years. I, it's, you can say it's four years. It's this year. 
and the way that the, the months are fucking flowing, like, let's just be for real. Mm-hmm. Next week is July. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and and one month is December. Yeah, just like, blink. Oh shit. Yeah, be for real. It's already March. Exactly my point. You ready for your wedding? But it's almost April. No, it's already April. Soon. When, when are you going? May. May what? The first of May. <laughs> It's gonna be May. The concert is the first of May, so I'm okay. probably leaving like April what? Yeah. Oh wait. The wait, of April. where is it? In New York. Uh, are you going to Miami by any chance? Me? Be- before you're going to New York, you're going straight to New York. Straight to New York. Ah oh, damn. I didn't book a flight yet. I just bought the, the, the concert ticket. So I'm gonna book a flight now and a hotel. How's, <sighs> how's your budget for that? You go. You're gonna go balls to the walls, buy shirts, souvenirs, all that stuff. Oh you're well, gonna, you're gonna frame your ticket like fucking put it in a. I bought it on Ticketmaster, so I can't fucking frame it like that. You can just frame, print it. I know, but like it's it not looks the like same. shit. Whatever. I would rather have like a hard ticket. <laughs> Maybe you can find one at the fucking uh, concert. You ever just try to find one. Maybe hey, do you have ticket? No, you, maybe they it. sell souvenirs like a, a real concert ticket of that day. Like, think about it. You can't hide your excitement, I huh? Can't. <laughs> um, but okay, explain to me. You're you're flying on. You know yet, but like, so what? What is your what is your game plan? Okay, so the game plan is just really to go to the concert. I really don't give a fuck about New York like that. No, but Shout what, out to New York. I love y'all, but like, the plan is fly out the day before of the concert. The day before the concert. Okay. The next day, concert. concert. Spend a day in New York and fly back. Like the other day, so like the like Friday, come back to Aruba. It's like a quick in and out trip because I know we have plans to like do some stuff also, like right after. Yeah, because the reason why I ask is I'm I'm going to Miami end of April. Tori wants me to join her on this trip. She has a good reason. She convinced me. Yeah, but I'm I'm flying on the 28th, and we fly back on Sunday. But wait, weren't we supposed to do this like in May? No, no, no. This is something else. Oh, okay. So this, okay but okay. We, we are still. Sorry. We didn't talk Sorry. about it. <laughs> you, you fucking like. You no. Just, I was like, hold up. Because no. we didn't talk about this. No, no. We, didn't, we never talked about it in, 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 on the camera. But like we are, we are doing our best. You could like, like, bleep that out. There no, no, no. We will. No, no. <laughs> uh, fuck it. I just say it. Cause, so, no. Actually, somebody commented on the last video. When you, or two videos ago. I saw it. The we, last one. About Miami. If you guys are going to Miami, let me know. I got some. Well, some f- for the food well, recommendations. Well, lady, if you're watching, I'm going to look you up your name. If you're watching, I we it look it up. We are flying right now. The let me see. March. She's, her name is Raiza. Okay, Raiza. I wonder if it's Raiza I went to school with. Raiza Close. Okay, no. So <laughs> here, here are the dates right now. So April 19th to the 22nd, which is Friday to Monday. Um, we are hoping and praying. <laughs> we're going to make it happen. God, help it. Amen. Amen. Um, we're going to go to Curacao for the weekend. We're going to do some recordings there. And then our next No Filter trip is going to be Miami. Um, we got Jordan, J Cuts. He's doing big things down there. Of course, Papi Jar. I was talking to him already. Um, I love me some Papi Jar. He might help us out with a few people, like if we can get some like nice artists over there. Because this guy's be cutting, like, fucking... I've been seeing you know, them reviews. Influencers and shit. Like, this guy made a good move going there. Did you Spike also? He lives, also, he lives yeah. there. Yeah, we need to go see what he's up to. Yeah. A little, I, like, I have no idea. He's just, just kind of like... I don't, he didn't fall off the map, but, like, he just, I don't see anything on social media about him. Yeah, so. But he was never really, like, a big social. Like, he used to really use his social media to promote his, like, parties here. Maybe, maybe we can just have a conversation. Yo, how's life in Miami? Yeah, here? like okay. a catch-up. I mean... So, Still we, a Ruba. We have that. We have, um, we could do, uh, because Steve Andreas, Steve Andreas is living now in Miami. Oh, so yeah. Like, we can talk about his experience in Ultra, which just happened. So like, you know, what did you learn? Connections. Yeah, a little re- recap catch up episode. Yeah, yeah. La and, vida in Miami. <laughs> Mami. What's up? And uh, we got, oh, this one is already confirmed, which is Steve Andreas' mother. <gasps> For those who don't know, she, she, she does real estate and stuff, but she was a very influential person in the politic world. In Aruba, no way. so she already agreed. I already spoke to her. Um, we're trying to get like we should get Patricia also. Like Patricia, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like the the producer guy and his wife. 
the fuck is Patricia? The, the, the lawyer, the lawyer guy. Not, oh, Patricia is the name of the wife? Is his wife. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I fucks with her. That's I was why. about I this. to her. That's my okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say um, Hachar Group. Um, yes, yes. Guy, red, red, carpet, red Carpet Law is his yes. Instagram handle. His wife. He's nice too, but like the wife is my girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, th- that's somebody we also want to have. If you guys don't know who he is, um, he's been to Aruba multiple times before. We, that's how we met him through Krish. Yeah. Um, he is an entertainment lawyer in Miami. He's done like big Latin artists. Like he was on uh, Billboard 100 as yeah. the number one entertainment lawyer in the country. So, I saw. So we want to get him on board. Uh, maybe one of his partners too. Um, Cody. I think it's Cody. Um, that's some, well, not someone that we also want to get on board. And I don't know who else we can try to get. So if you, if you guys know anybody in Miami that we, you know, you have access to that. Hey, Mark me. Benson, I heard, also lives there. Yeah. What is he doing there? Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, he's a 24 hours. I don't know, but we can find out. Okay. We can fuck around and find out. Okay. Okay. It's... Mark, if you tell us about cars. Yeah. We'll fucking record right now. And if you guys there. know a nice place to stay, let us know. Cause that's, I looked at all, I, I shopped around online and let me tell you, that shit ain't cheap. You know, I stayed at a, 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 a hotel on Miami Beach last time. Okay. It was pretty cheap. It was good. But Miami Beach kind of... I know. I'm, it's, I'm it's, trying it's to find off. a place in, 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 in Brickell. Wynwood? No, oh. Brickell. Wynwood is like 15 minutes away. Yeah. But like Brickell is a nice... Um, it's where all the influencers and the people live right now. Um, I'm familiar with the area too, so it's... it's there is one place that we 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 it's found. It's expensive though. Fuck a brickle. We can just visit brickle no, no, during no, the day. No, no, no. <laughs> the it's, night. no. There is, there is. I'm gonna send you a link. I found a really nice, dope apartment that we can rent. Um, and the reason why the reason why I don't mind paying like we should pay extra is because it, either we pay for a shitty hotel and rent a studio, or we take the studio money, put it into a hotel and rent a dope fucking room, and we can yeah. rent, we can shoot in the room. So we just invite people like, yo, come up to our room. Yeah. Like, You're staying at the Easton Hotel? Go look it up. It's fucking dope. <laughs> That's where I'm looking at. And like, yo, I'm coming. And so, yeah. Okay. Um, so that's so, that. We'll do that. So, yeah. And Carissa, let us know who you guys want to <clears> know. <throat> Obviously, we, got, we want to get Chris Trick, um, Dongo, I Am Death Row, you know, some other people. Per. So, you know anybody in Carissa you want to do? Yeah, I mean, we said like Wapu also. Oh, that wanna we want to do Wapu podcast. Yeah. yeah. Which one? Which one of the guys do you want to do? I'll do both at the same time. <laughs> same what a fucking Wapu. time. Ew. <laughs> yeah, definitely Wapu guys as well. But um, yeah. But there's like a lot of people like that's in Curacao. Like we just have to see who's yeah. there at that time. Correct. Correct. But I want I would love to do the girls too. JD, JD, I think her name is the girl with that the shortcut. She's always like on like every everything. We have, we have to do, yeah. We have to look at a little list of like, okay, here are the people. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. So help us out, guys. Who should we? Um, yes, y'all should let we us get know. Let us know in the comments or DM us their Instagram account. Um, Speaking of comments, though, go ahead. Right quick, right quick. Go so ahead. we got like some feedback from people that were talking about like no filter eats. Remember we were talking mm-hmm. about that. Hey, but it's places to eat, all this good stuff. Have you seen the Have you seen the Instagram account? No. Guys, go follow the Filter Eats right now. <laughs> okay, the reason why. Let me let me show. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna open it right now. Go crazy. Look at that, 63 new followers. Awesome. So we are currently at 682. Damn. Let's go, baby. And no content on it. No content Zero. posted. <laughs> Zero. It all, Look all, at fucking no, no filter. No, no post. No post. And Look all, at fucking black, no black filter. circle and says coming soon. I need to make a fucking logo for this because I don't have one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. That's like the least of our problems. No, we need So people was like Marina Pirata, best of the best on Aruba. That's one we'll probably have to go. We'll have to go. I haven't, I haven't, go, I, I haven't gone in years. I have never been. So, like, like my ever. mom was still alive when I went last oh, time. Oh, damn. Actually, no. It was around her, her funeral because it was one of her favorite restaurants. Aww. And we all, they all took us there. Okay, so we have to go there yeah, now. Okay. Like, it's Rest sentimental. In peace, Rest in peace, Samil's, Samil's mom. Samil's. I'm talking to the camera like she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> in heaven. That's why. She's probably up there. And, 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 and there was Amy. <laughs> she's watching it in heaven. If y'all, um, only those who watch the Amy episode on Amy, I know you're watching. <laughs> I know you. And my mom's watching you. And she just told me my dreams last night. Uh, that she doesn't forgive you and she's waiting for you up there. No, and Amy she's gonna was, beat you. <laughs> Amy said, <laughs> We, uh, I really hope Amy is in Carissa when we go. <sighs> uh, I saw her on a long ass flight. I was like, Girl, what the fuck are you traveling to? Let me text her. 
Mm-hmm. So we're yeah, so yeah, so me Marina Prada definitely. Okay, so somebody said Bosa definitely missed it purba a taco spot banda the local store Baharabia. I've, I've been wanting to try that. I, I told you about it. That's yes, key morals. I, Shout out to key morals. It, I heard they got like some crazy fucking birria tacos. So we'll probably have to go check that out. Oh my mom, I'm um, so hungry right now. Ariana Arianalo Año Año, I think that's the name. Said mm-hmm. Fire and Flames. And Calabria Trattoria. Okay, so... Calabria Trattoria. So, so it's funny because I've been wanting to try both those places. Oh. It's um, Fire and Flames is where... What was that place? My God. But right before, like, Superfood. It, it, used, to, it used to be... Um, it used to be Mama. Who am the guy? Ah, brain for it. Something, brain something fart. turtle, like crazy turtle, whatever it used to be. Oh, Tortuga Loco. Tortuga Loco. Okay. That's where I used to, that's Fire and Flames because I love barbecue. And I, 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 when I drive them, I look, I'm like, I need to fucking go eat there. Okay, so that's one on the list and for sure. And Italian places and the new Metro Mall. Okay. So it's, it's so, and Tori been wanting to try it. What story, like, try to sneak yourself in? Okay. Can yeah, I be yeah, in yeah, an yeah, episode? No. Can I be in an episode? She has to have an episode, oh. though. It's torture. Tor. Everything Come I on. do, she just, like, takes over. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so another one says, um, let me see who this name is. Lionel Griffith said, I'm atende Toco San Nicolas. So, I haven't even heard of that place. Oh, my God, it's really good. It, I love it. It's, like, right on the corner. Uh-huh. And they have, like, shawarma and, like, they have different things. They have different things. So we can check them out. We can definitely check them out. Um, somebody commented and said... Redfish, ta, redfish in Miho. Okay. That's, that's oh, so my Sasaki area. I know that one. And yeah, that, and then we had the comment from the other girl that said, Raiza, that said, okay, we got to go to Florida. Yeah. And then she'll give her recommendations. I'm, I'm, I'm literally trying to find, <laughs> that's what I've been trying to do the whole time, is, is go on Instagram of no filter and. Am I stupid or something? Because I can't seem to find. What are you looking for exactly? So Baby boy. When, when we posted. Here we go. When I posted, like, hey, what should we try? We got a lot of responses. When I, when I, po- I posted on our stories. Why are you fucking laughing? Did you just go in? Like, I'm trying. In like, like archives and just look for the, the, the specific it's story? It's archives. Yeah. It's ar- okay, cool. Thank, thanks. You're welcome. You I mean, just set that. You could have just said you, what you were looking for. You never communicated. Tori, I understand what you're going through, girl. <laughs> Blank twice if you need help. <laughs> there is a few. Taco Beer, yeah. Burger of Seven West, rest in peace. Aww. Mm. Okay, you remember them pandemic burgers? Wow. From, from Seven West? They were my favorite. Fucking favorite. We were doing the most. Like, we really were doing. Are you, are you done? No. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Sake Felipe, mi boca douche snack, beer oh, tacos. I hate saco. Can cheese at Retonda of Mahuma. Try the Lomito quesadilla or burrito. Ooh. Finger licking really honey garlic wings at Fire Sun. Never had it. Oh my god, I love Fire Sun. Yeah? I've only been there once, actually with you. I love Fire Oh, Sun. twice. They used to take a, a bit long in the kitchen though. That yeah. used to piss me off from them. But the food? Burger? The burger was all right. We need to, I, I, they took me like, what's the burger? It was great. I, I lied. It was all right. <laughs> <laughs> you said, you because, lied. because back then, like, you know me, like, I don't, I don't want to talk shit. This is, this is so, for me to come this far to be like, all right, let's review and be honest. You, you know me because I, yeah. I am someone that I don't talk shit about anybody because even if it's shit, I'm like, hey, bro, keep it up, man. Yeah, no, I'm not about that life. Because, like, who am I to, like, because I don't know if this person has a f- weak fucking mind, and next thing you know, like, oh, you know what, let me just keep up with my dreams, because one person told me, like, oh, it's not going to work Yeah, then out. you're not in the right business. If that's your mentality, I, you're not in the right business. I know. That's why, <laughs> like, now I'm, like, I'm just going to review things else, you know. We've already talked about this. Like, we're going to review it, service, presentation, taste, food, like. Okay, so we have to figure out how we're going to do the service part if we're not going to be the ones coming out of the cart to buy the things. No, we are. We just call them. Nobody will fucking know who it is. And then we just sit there and... Or we just take turns like, hey, me put a pedi, ta, like, what's okay? Did you, actually, we can't call. We just walk in and order, hey... um. But then they're seeing us. Then they're going to prepare but, it better. But what, but what if they don't know? Eventually, well, after let, the third then, episode... Then they, then they better fucking prepare it good. After the third episode, I feel like they're going to know. No. How are they going to know? They're going to know. That's a fucking meme. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. They are going to know, though. Like, eventually, we're going to become famous. 
by like the restaurant eating famous. That's what I mean. Like, okay, or, or the fucking infamous. Okay, who's not dying? Not shit. No, what I mean is like, oh, you talk shit. Like, for example, we give. But we're not talking shit. St- if your food is good, we're gonna give it a great review. If, if it's what, not and, good, and what if it's bad? Then we're gonna give it an honest review. What the fuck you want me to do? You should have cooked it better. It's not my fault. The fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? The same experience I might have, some the next person can have also. So it's not like we're doing something out of the the blue. True. All right, guys. So Wendy's got a new sandwich called the crispy onion chicken or beef sandwich. So. Uh, we haven't tried it yet. But today we got Shark and we got somebody who really doesn't like onions. <laughs> Mr. Michael Fowler. He doesn't have a microphone. That's fine. We're only here to see his face expression. He's going to see the facial reaction. Exactly. All right. So we're going to start off with the beef. Beef. All right. So we're going to try the beef on the front. Wait, look, that's chicken. That's beef. You? All right. So we got it right here. Oh, these wrappers actually make sense. Yeah. Wait, I you, love that. You, wait, you didn't know this? No. I was today years old. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we try this for the first time. Um, you know, if you like it, if you don't like it, we'll see. I'm pretty sure people are looking forward for a shark's reaction anyway. No, stop. I'm looking for the distant on, on onion man. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, cheers, guys. It's definitely mm. good. Mm. It has like a sweet taste to it. Michael, like taste wise, it's good. Do you approve? I think for anybody mm. that's always been like, no, um, Wendy's needs to have onion rings. Mm-hmm. This. This is it. What do we got? It's sauteed onions, and it's actually pretty crunchy. It's both. It's sauteed onions, and it's mm-hmm. a crunchy onion. Mm-hmm. Let's switch. Okay, so All right. first, let's go. On. Chicken sandwich. All right, one time. Okay. By the way, guys, Big. and this is <laughs> that's what she said. God. Oh, she's <laughs> goddamn. Even better. Really? I can't. This is nice chicken, guys. This is the one for me. Because mm-hmm. I was I was about to say, to me, this one is missing, like, the zesty sauce, like a spicy type of sauce. Mm-hmm. But this has it. But this is a spicy chicken. So it's not like regular chicken. Exactly. So I have, I have the spice that I'm looking for. All right, guys. Go get your crispy onion chicken sandwich or beef sandwich, whichever you prefer. Available at Wendy's right now. So go get it and enjoy it. Us. Not on us. There you go. <laughs> yeah, oh, scratch that last part. <laughs> go get one. Back to the show. Anybody can have a phone and vlog their experience or whatever they're eating at the moment. We all do it. That's what people want on social media. They want you to come to their places mm-hmm. and fucking record it and post it. It's promotion. That's how it goes. And we're giving it for free. Per. So if it you just fuck comes up, you fuck up. A, if you fuck up, you fuck up. That's on you, boo boo. I'm getting so Not hungry us. right now. So, but anyway, so I wasn't going to ask you about this. So, oh, the book? Yeah, because you was telling me about this new yeah, diet that so you want. I, I, I've been trying, I've been wanting to try this. So, Tori and I are currently, we just started about like three days ago. It's very recent, yes, but. Yeah, I was about we, to say. We started this, um, the carnivore, we always wanted to try the carnivore diet. And it's like, or an, it's or animal, animal based, all y'all vegans and vegetarians, I'm so sorry. But, <laughs> so basically it's like an animal based um, diet slash carnivore diet, which you only eat like, um, like you know, greens uh, and protein. No, no greens. Okay, just or ba- protein. barely, barely any greens. You eat a lot of pro- um, protein, like steak, um, like red meat, fish, chicken, shellfish, you know, and you eat like very little carbs, fats, and everything. So we've been we've been trying it so far. Like breakfast, we'll have like a bunch of eggs, turkey, bacon. And here's where we so we don't go. We didn't go like full right away into it because fuck that will be difficult I guess and expensive. Not that okay if you go to Superfood and you know or Lean Sauce and you buy it per yes it'll be expensive. Like we bought a ribeye for like fucking twenty dollars. Like what the fuck? We're not gonna. I told her we're not gonna survive this. And I told her you know let's go price price smart and see what we can get. Like you know let's obviously I, I don't I don't expect it to taste the same. You know it's price it's you know so we went to price and we found. Like ribeyes for like twenty dollars for pieces instead of twenty dollars one piece. So it that is doable. So no, I mean there's like there, so there's a few places like every Saturday they have like specials on meat and stuff like this. Where? A what? Uh, please tell me more. Oh my god, where do you live? No. Okay, so in San Nicolas, there's this one place. That's why I didn't know about it. I mean, you need to travel the more. more baby you know, boy. The, you need to travel. Yeah, no, this is one place, and they do, like, every... I can't remember the name. They have green uniforms. Green? Yeah, it's this large place, and they have, like, a big meat distribution. So no they, way. Yeah, and every every Saturday, they have, like, a market. So people just come, and you just shop, buy your That's meat. That's in San Nicolas? Yeah, we have, like, we have one of those. I, don't, I, I, know there's, I, I know there's one in North, too, every Saturday. It's, like, you find, like, a sourdough lady. You, found, you find, um, you know, a sourdough know. girl lady? Yeah. 
No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, she's actually well known. Like she's T two dough, whatever. I don't know. She used to be a biology teacher. She quit and started her own sourdough business. I'm not mad at that. She's doing phenomenal. But like, I know they have like a bunch of like um, homemade stuff. Like, like it's like a farmer's market. So it's not uh, really. No, nah, this is not like that. This is. I like this one. I like meats. this one more. Fuck it. This meat. is just the meat. Like okay. meat, chicken. You can, can you, you find buy out? it in a box. Can you find out for me? Like, because we might go Saturday. No, you should. You should go every Saturday. It's every Saturday. Okay. Maybe we'll come during our combine it with like a day, like a baby beach or something, you know? Like, go. Oh. I don't think you want to buy meat and leave it in a car no, to go no, to the no, beach. No, no, no. I'm assuming this is, <laughs> I assume, I assume this, go, this is like at noon, right? No, it's morning to like noon. Oh, shit. Never mind. Yeah, it's like a morning thing. Like you just Never go, mind the beach. Never Saturday mind. morning, you wake up like, oh, Buenos Dijas. Let me go buy my meat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like macro supermarket, all these supermarkets yeah, yeah, they have yeah. like the that have like a carniceria. Yeah, they have specials on meat like every. Saturday. I wonder if it's like the ones that are about to expire. Let's get rid of it. No, every so they just like be like, okay, this week our special, and they promote it like from the beginning of the mm-hmm. week already. So they're like, hey, this Saturday Where? we're gonna have special it? on wings and um at the supermarkets. Yeah, this is the supermarkets. They 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 post that like macro supermarket and yeah, 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 they yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Food I'm, center I'm, also. I'm, I'm gonna find out. Yeah, no, you because should. we went to Price Mart and we just bought like, you know, a bunch of shit. <laughs> so, we so this is the first book we ever bought. <laughs> Why do you have to make it sound like that? Stupid ass. Look, I don't put me over here. Oh, what the book? It's called the Carnivore. This is the code. first book we ever bought. <laughs> no, for the. Oh my God. For the okay, Carnivore. Continue diet. on. Let's go. Let's go. So like you know, and the guy who wrote the girl who wrote it is like a medical doctor. Blah blah blah. So like it's like basically all I can eat is like grass fed beef, uh, pasture raised pasture raised pork, pasture raised chicken, organ meat, like liver and shit. That's difficult. Bone broth, uh, wild caught fish, corn and soy free eggs. I think this is crazy. Things like that I can't eat, which is like what highly to avoid. Spinach, kale, broccoli, cauliflower, bu- Brussels sprouts, cabbage, uh, bok choy, watercress. Chia seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, beets, asparagus, lettuce, romaine lettuce. Well, these are all things people t- tell you to eat. So I'm like very, it's very contradicting, you know? You know, there's a diet for everybody, I feel like. Yeah. And somebody told me about this, this diet. People might like, oh, you should watch a docu series on Netflix about what you, uh, you are, what you eat. What apparently, you eat. Yeah, apparently. I love it. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's people said don't watch it because it's basically bashing meat eaters. And it's no, all. that's a lie. That's no? not what it's about at all. Okay. At all. <clears throat> this, listen, I don't, I'm not complaining because I like eating red meat anyway. So, listen, no, you saw, you saw my story today? Fucking Tori made like two, uh, literally strip loin. That's all, all I have for lunch. I am not going to. And that th- and it tastes fucking good. Thank God Tori can cook us. Yeah, no. Thank God for that. But the the that's why I was saying, like, that's wild because like the document, the Netflix documentary, it's really good. Okay. And it talks about like that stuff and it does not bash meat eaters at all. So I don't know who said that. That's a lie. A few people told me that. No, okay. they just were they just pointed out what they were saying is like know where your meat is coming from. Yeah. That's what they were saying. They're not saying don't eat meat. They're saying eat meat, it's okay, but just know where know. it's coming from because the way that people raise the meat mm-hmm. is where you get like sick from and all these other things. So like they inject certain things, in. chickens that have yeah, like yeah. injections and they're like living in a very small coop, a yeah, bunch yeah. of all propped up. If one's sick, the other ones are getting sick yeah. and yada, yada, yada. Salmon, the same thing. They're saying like, Oh, they're, they're, they're wild fed. They're, they're like, Thing. But like then they in, have them in a, kind of, in a in a little net in the in the fucking lake. They have them in a lake in a yeah. net, and then they're like swimming in their own debris. Like yeah. they're shitting and they're just eating that same shit. And like, so it's wild caught, but it's not really wild caught. Yeah, like yeah. you fucking lying. You wild, have a farm like for that. Yeah, and yeah. You're not doing it the right way. With the like the 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 cows, they showed like the difference where you have like cows that are like on green land, like in Holland. You would go Holland and you'll see like. Huge green land, and you'll see like a few cows everywhere, and they're eating. They're not intense. That's good. That's yeah. good meat to eat. Yeah. All now, when you go to like other places and you see like a bunch of cows lined up next to each other and a tractor driving, giving them feed, they're like in mud and they're all intense next to each they're other not eating. Like you know, race they didn't have a good life. Yeah. 
So that meat is that's they're just doing this so they can sell that meat much Market. cheaper. Yeah. They they buy cheap food to feed them and get them fat and then sell them for a high price. And that's what the the, the documentary was talking about. Like know where your meat is coming from. So if you're going to eat the right type of meat, know that okay, this meat came from this farm. This farm is this type of way. It's not this type of farm. Yeah. That's what it was like kind of talking about. Interesting. It's really good. it's a really good documentary. No, we're probably. Th- I, I'm pretty sure I, we already put it on the list. Like you know, like to watch. Yeah, to watch. watch I, I am. I'm still gonna watch it because you like, should. Like even all oh, don't watch because against meat, but like you know, it's so good to watch. I said, like, why is it against meat? And it's then you not. know, like, but it, you know, it's good to know the opposites. Otherwise, you don't. You, you can't understand someone if you don't know both sides of the story. And it's also like a a, 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 a test that they did. So they used twins. Twins. Yeah. yeah I so saw. one would be like the vegan diet, and the other one would be on a carnivore diet. And then they'll just check them out afterwards and see how they did after. Tell but, me, does this look good? No, I love meat. I'm a meat eater. Oh, that I know for sure. I did want to try. Fuck you. I did want to try the, the diet that the, the Netflix documentary did show, though. With the like, vegan one or the, or the, the animal vegan based? one. You want to try that? I did. You did or you, you I want do. to? I want to try it because I like that they were like, you don't have to like steam your vegetables or do these type of things yeah, don't you? to do they were like, you can, prop, you can cook the same amount, the same thing that you normally cook with, your same seasonings, and just make that with greens and beans, mix that with your rice, and Oof. you have a meal. Eat away. You're still full. I, you just, I want meat. I can't, like... I can. I've had, like, I've, I, I've had, like, hit, like Indian food. Yeah. Like Most of only, them are vegan, so they don't then, cook and, with and meat. And then you're only, like, limited to, vegan, to Indian food. I mean, I mean, obviously, you can no, do other things. No, because that's why. That's why I can, like, cook, like, what I normally use at home yeah. to make my chicken and all these other things. Just no chicken. Yeah. It will just be, like, the greens and the rice and the beans. And You should do that. I'll do this. Yeah, I definitely want to try it, but I don't know when. Because we're going to start No Filter Eats now. So. <laughs> this carnivore diet is going to be very short-lived. Thank you. <laughs> Never mind. I can't do that no more. Like, no, but we, we tried to eat, like, for example, this morning, we had, like, the bacon, egg, and, like, the English, the English, the English muffin, <laughs> English, English, the English muffin. That's the only like carb we have. We just toast that, and then we put like you know some good butter. It was fucking phenomenal. Like we've been eating the same breakfast for three days, and I, I'm not bored. I'm like keep fucking making it. I no, just, try other things. When I get bored with this one, no, because that's the problem. You don't want to like look at this. I'm like oh, picada de comer. See, that's the bad. <laughs> mm. I also heard pigs are not good to eat. Imagina un momento capturado de un glass. Beldostar Beer, donde cada slot te conta una historia de tradición y sabor. Producido en el corazón de Bélgica con el mejor ingrediente en la vida. Esa es cerveza creada para que estén con tanta disfruta cada momento de la vida. Sea como te brindando para volver a la vida o está disfrutando en la bajada de sol. Beldostar Beer está obtenible en la Super Duet Center Shaba. I don't, I don't really eat pork. If I do eat pork, it's like I ribs it. or pulled pork from I Alfie's. I eat all type of pork. I'm sorry. I'm a pork eater. Tuesday. No ribs today. They have the mac and cheese today? No, that's Friday and Saturday. Now, we're going to start sending invoices to everybody we mentioned. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're just out here mentioning the, uh-huh. the menus. So, quick quick question. Um, Hablame, so I, and we can kind of like end it with this conversation. Okay, let's go. So, how did things... How did you even end up, like, on the beach at 2 in the morning? <laughs> we need the story. Oh, my God, I hate we, you. How did you go from, because I like, poof, like, dirty knees, and I'm like, oh, shit. What was the moment See, leading oh, up? Fuck you. <laughs> I think it's an inter- like, we can end with this. Yeah, it, it's an entertaining <laughs> way to end the show. It's a very short episode today, guys. Sorry. Okay, it was crazy. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh-huh, tell me. So I tell was, me more. I can't remember what I was doing before. Oh Jesus Christ! But I do know it's I was knocked the memory out of you, huh? I know it really did. So I do remember I was at home and I was oh. vibing, chilling, and I was about to like go to sleep, whatever. And then this guy texts me and he's like, "Yeah, I'm in Saint Nicholas and yada yada yada." I'm like, "Oh, oh so he's somebody from Pabo. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So we started talking and whatnot. And I'm like, it's been a while. Because the last time was the last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not the same guy. 
No, it's not the same okay, guy. Okay. It's a different guy. So I was like, damn, it's been a while, you know? I'm like, I wouldn't mind getting my freak one a little bit. <laughs> so I'm like, cool. So I ended up going with him. We ended up like driving. Like, I didn't understand why, but we ended up in downtown. Because we were like chilling and driving and like talking and we're smoking and like it was just vibing. <laughs> so we ended up downtown and we're like, okay, let's go to like the beach over here, like whatever. So we go to the beach. It's just crazy. <laughs> it like, really is. Like, the, my, the only question I have before you continue is, yeah. it, is, is this guy straight? Yeah. And uh, that's I, the crazy <laughs> part. Like, Sometimes I wonder if I know the guy and I'm like, like I must match with the guy. He's hey, not. He's not a famous guy though. No, no, but, but you know what I mean. Like this fucking match, like hey, he's a yeah. very low key guy. He's not like that type but of guy. Though. But I understand what she's saying. And I'm like, yo, I'll fuck a dude in the ass. So I'm like, <laughs> what? But anyways, continue. Okay, so we get to the beach and oh we parked, and then we started walking over to like the beach. So we get to like a spot, like there was like like a little bush. Mm-hmm. So we. Get- <laughs> We get to the bush and we're like setting up camp because we're like, okay, let's let's smoke a little bit more and then you a know, little we, blanket and everything. There was no blanket. I know. Really. These were hella. <laughs> <laughs> so we're there. We're like almost to get our freak on a little bit. Look, he's like, I hear somebody coughing. I'm like, what? We look over. There's like a homeless guy sleeping in the bushes, like over there, and he's like waking up. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> It is before or after. This is before. We were about okay, to get okay, started. Okay, okay, so I'm okay. like, oh, like, do you want to move? He's like, yeah, let's go to the other bush. So we go to this. <laughs> Obviously, this one is taken. Yeah, like, it's, well, not this one, but, I'm like, like hey, right over sorry. there. He can see everything. So I'm like, let's go to, like, this other bush. So we go to the other bush. And then we're like, oh, but that bush over there is closer to the water. Let's go to that bush. So we move to a different bush. So now we're, like, right behind the bush. Like, this is crazy. I'm having, like, bush sex. <laughs> Anyways, so we're there. And at this point, like, we're already smoking. We're, like, done smoking so because we're, like, walking all over. Get there. I'm, like, you know, pulling out of pants. Like, uh-huh, let's get this party started. And the- we, st- we start getting the freak one. And I just know I'm, like, whatever. It-, it went down. I don't have to give the details. I just know it went down. And after that, I went, like, I took my clothes off. I went skinny dipping in the water. It was a cute little lake water over there. A lake water? Yeah, it was like a lake water. Because he went on little, that side. Little natural pool going on. Yeah, it had, like, a little lake water. So we, like, went in there. We just, like, vibe. If you know Bushiri, like, y'all know, like. I, for some reason, I was like, <laughs> this, this, the only place I can think of that has a lot of bushes. And you can go far away from the street. Yeah. Is Bushiri. It was far. Like, it was, the, the, it was far. So I was like, ooh, this is perfect. And then there was, like, a, a barco, like, passing by. I was like, aww. Romantico. And then there was, like, the moonlight on. I was like, hey. Fucking in the moonlight. Hey. Everybody's skinny dipping. No, hey. <laughs> that happened. That really happened. Yeah. So both of y'all went skinny dipping. Yeah. So after that, I le- no, he, I, he didn't go. I went. I was I don't fuck you. Shit. So I had to clean off. My knees are, like, whatever. So I'm, like, cleaning off. Yeah. Go in. Get off. Head on to. I, boom. I'm at home now again. Mind you, it's like 2 a.m., right? Like after 2 a.m. My mom, she wakes up at like 2 a.m. because she does like, she wanted to give like appreciation to her job. So she's making like Johnny Cakes and Sawfish and all this good stuff. You're going to make some? So she wakes up at like 2.30. 2.30, I'm in the bathroom. And I'm like, oh my God, like my ass hurts. You're just talking. no, oh. like, so she pulls up. She's like, so what are you doing in the bathroom? Like, I'm oh, like, I'm shitting. I got a stomach ache. <laughs> I got some babies in my stomach. She's like, oh, so you got, you got like the diarrhea or something? I'm like, yeah, I think so. Like, girl. <laughs> At least you don't bring people home anymore. If you only know, like. Damn, sorry. It went down. It was good, though. It was a, it was a good session. Like, I had fun. It's been a while since I've done, like, some wild shit like that, you know? I'm just thinking, like, have you ever had, have you ever had an accident, like, you know, like, fuck? Um, I, I mean, probably. It's an ass, like. I know, I know, I know. But, like, it's. Grown like, men, don't, they don't, like, give a fuck, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But you, tr- of course, you, you, you clean out you prepare, before, yeah, yeah. Prepare, yeah, yeah, yeah. But. How did I know? But, yeah. you know, we've talked about this before, like, yeah, we previous did. episodes. So, yeah, clean out, whatever. Damn. But it was good. It was a good Oh, y'all learned something today about Shark? He, he likes skinny dipping. I love the skinny dip. I go skinny dipping like almost every day. 
Oh, but like at like Rogers Beach area or? I uh, know I can't do it at the Rogers. Too many tourists. No, but in Grapefield. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they just go like sunbathe. Let me ask you something. Like, since you're from San Nicolas, how do you feel about the whole developments happening on that side? It's like a lot of love, hate. Uh, we talked about this also. Have we? We did. We did. I personally, I'm not a fan of the hotel. Okay. Like, I'm pro a hotel. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that specific hotel. Or that specific location. The concept. I'm not, I'm yeah. not a fan of the concept. I'm, I don't see... To me, San Nicolas is very much known for our foods, our cooking, and like. And why would you put it all inclusive? Why there? would you put it all inclusive? I'm just against all inclusives in general. In general, in even general. though sometimes they're good and you need them because they bring a certain clientele. Of course. But if San Nicolas was something that strived off of like, oh, we make a lot of art like stuff and we do all these type of things, yeah. I'd be like, you know what? You're not a direct competition to us with all inclusive. Mm. But all inclusive to the struggling restaurants that we already do have. It's, you're not helping our economy with nothing much. If I am paying to come, paying my ticket to come to Aruba, paying my ticket to pay for an all-inclusive hotel where I know I'm going to get breakfast, lunch, and dinner, why, why would I, why I buy you, at yeah. your restaurant? Like, I mean, there are still people that will, you're going to get. You're, of course, you're going to get. I'll have one thousand, maybe two hundred, but instead you could have had a thousand going on the streets. I agree. I agree. I'm not a big fan of the hotel either. Um, so. I, well, I'm not a big fan of all inclusives, and the location is too close to like Baby Beach, and like I wonder how it's gonna affect um, what's it called Big Mountain Grill. There's there, and then I think it's hilarious that oh, you know, we're building parking lots, we're fixing this, we're fixing that, and I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm asking myself, are you doing it for the community or are you? upgrading the area so you can bring in more investors to invest. Look, it's a developed area. So you're developing it for the se- it's sandals or secrets? Secrets. So you're developing it for secrets. So it's like a nice parking lot. It looks nice. And guess what? The What's it called? Rum Reef? That whole area? It's going to be all, all condos. Wait, Are they, what? You didn't know about this? No. They already started digging. They already put up a fence. They're building a, a, I don't know, like a six-store. I've seen the plans. Someone showed me the plans of Fucking like twenty room condos like going up. Oh shit! So like it's it, they're slowly developing more and more things over there. Which I saw. I did see them like it's, fixing it's, shit. It's nice, but like, fuck man, like it's. I don't know, and, and and I'm also like, who's also benefiting? Like, who's making most of the money here? Like, are you spreading the wealth with everybody else? And it's, this is the problem that I feel like Aruba in general has. It's not just a San Nicolas issue. I feel like this is a, a, a problem Aruba has that we just want to sell everything. We don't want to own anything. Yeah. We just want to sell. Like, oh, okay, you want to invest in Aruba? Come, invest. Bring find your some, company. Bring this. Why are the locals not getting that same push on, here's an incentive. Build something. Make it even better. Do the, like, let's. Well, this might, I might be, like, completely, like, off with this one. But imagine, like, hey, guys, we're going to build this hotel. It's going to cost us $8 million, whatever. Here is a GoFundMe account. If you invest X amount, you get 0.3% of the hotel, which means every end of the year you collect 0.3% of whatever profit. So it's basically, instead of looking at big investors, you're like, okay, instead of one big investor, you have multiple small ones. 3,000 investors, small ones, who are local, who all benefit from it. But you don't have, you're an investor, but you can't say shit. Like you collect, you put in the money to build it, but. You can't be like, oh, but I want to change this. No, you can't change shit. Shut yeah, you're up. you're a silent investor. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Stay on the side. Thank yeah. you for your money. And here's your cut. It, it at is. The end it of is. The year. But I mean, I, I do hope, and I, I know I will bring like life to San Nicholas with some uh, some extra no life because there already, already is life. It's more bringing more activity and movement. That's what we need. We need activities. Yeah. We don't really need like much hotels and stuff like that. I feel like we needed this, like, work on the infrastructure that is currently there. Yeah, even the fucking the white building, like, at the end of the street, it's like, oh, it's fuck. Why can't somebody remodel that into, like, a boutique hotel? Because it's right next to the fucking tanks or something? Like, oh, it's not pretty. Imagine. That, that, t- imagine, that thing should have been gone. Imagine you open up your balcony and you see, like, you oversee the city of San Nicolas right there. Like, all the streets. Oh, that's my friend Bobby with a hooker. What's <laughs> up, Bobby? And, like, anyways. Let's end the show. We should have ended it with you getting let's, your ass blown up. End but... it. It's all Gucci. Fuck you. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we are 
You know what? Since we're talking about hotels, we're going to reach out to Dongi, see if he's willing to we come. Should. See if he's willing to come on the show and bring him on. And then we can, we can discuss, you know, guys can send us questions and we can discuss in detail. What's so funny? I'm sorry. I love Dongi. Like, to me, just the seeing name his, his face, like, he just makes me so happy. Like, I just love Hi. to see. I don't know. <laughs> God damn it. He always looks beyond happy. Like, of course. I just love to see him. I'm sorry. He, I just see him. I like sometimes yeah. I post a picture on my story of him. Yeah. And I'm just like, like, ugh, like whatever. Like, I think <laughs> he just makes me laugh. Just try not to laugh too much during the episode. I will try my best. Because okay, I do have a lot of questions for him. Like, I mean, of course, we're going to go ham. So, like, not, we're, not, not, not ham, but like, but like we're going to ask all uh, the questions. Yeah. This might be, I, I have a feeling this might be a two part episode with him. Maybe. Because I want to know, like, the hotels. Like, I want to know about what, how do you feel about people complaining about normal hotels? How do you feel about what happened to Port City, the whole idea for cruise ships? How do you feel about so many cruise ships coming to Aruba? The like, outside investments. And, or people are, people, people are complaining that there are too many tourists on the island. And that's and his sell. I, this is like, you know, things that I hear from people. I think let's wrap it up because, okay. like, we don't want to say right. too much. And okay. Then okay. Probably scare the man from coming on. Oh, he will. He will. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, and we'll see you all next week. Peace. Ow. Ow.